The National Museum of Contemporary Art wants to be an attractive and inclusive space for the communication and the expression of people of different characteristics, interests and needs. In the framework of this social and educational orientation, in 2009 we launched the program Emst Without Borders, aiming at the equal access to art and culture for all. In order to attract to the museum non-traditional audiences, we create collaborations with NGOs, associations and other social and educational organizations. Through this program, we want to make the voice of the vulnerable or socially excluded people be heard. The collaboration with Melissa Network and Project Home is part of Emst Without Borders. In October 2014, the Museum of Contemporary Art in Athens, and in specific the Education Department, invited me as an artist to create a proposal on a series of art education programs to be executed under the framework of Ems Without Borders. This was the birth of Project Home. The initial aim of Project Home was to approach with a combination of theoretical and practical sessions the theme of home in its multitude of meanings and associations, to give the opportunity to participants to understand, through artist references, the possibilities of visualizing with metaphorical associations issues related to home and through practical hands-on workshops to create their own three-dimensional homes, bringing into fabrication memories, aspirations, emotional challenges and views on their interfamily relationships. In the final session, uh, there was time to gather together and discuss as well as analyze uh, their homes, which they created. Uh, these discussions gave meaning to many questions that developed during the program and were at times highly emotional. The practical creative sessions provided the opportunity to use materials with literal and or metaphorical associations retrieve memories long compartmentalized and rarely narrated. In many cases, home was literal to the participants in the sense that there was a need to talk about belonging, upbringing, family, and what was left behind. This is my hut. Most huts in Africa are made of wood. The hole on top is for the smoke to go out. The men do the building, the women collect the grass and weave it for the thatching. We also use mud as cement. In the winter it's warm, in the summer it's cool. Nowadays people build modern houses in the villages, but they build a hut right beside as a kitchen. They can't forget, you know. A wealth of information was shared on how each lived in their country of origin, how they lived as children, experiences, smells, feelings, sounds. There's no place like home. I miss this house too much. It is made of nipa and bamboo. I remember my parents drinking coffee together on the porch. I remember them always holding the mug together. Our backyard is a river. We don't have beds. We just put a mat on the floor. It is very cool to sleep. The land is from my father. Now we have a big house and that house is mine. But I'm not there. I'm here. Now my house is made of cement. But I want to buy a nipa hut. Now they sell them ready. And in others, homes had wheels and flying carpets on them because homes are for many a mobile feature. This is my house on wheels. I traveled all my life since I was born. The whole idea is that you take your home with you. Make everything from scratch. A house is how you make it, but it's not necessarily forever. The roof is hatched because the house grows old as we do. There are feathers on top representing the energy of birds, of flights, the impermanence of house. We're here now, but not necessarily forever. And there's a blue eye, an element of my own culture, for protection. But there's no furniture, only carpets. You can roll them up and go.